my poor Dominion box fan. Rust, rust in pieces. Well, yesterday I went to start it, it was buzzing. So I took it out here, my mom said let's try it without the blade. It buzzed and ran for about, I don't know, a second or two. Then, like, right up out of here, a big ball flame shot. It was truly spectacular, it was like the 4th of July. What happened is this winding here, I guess this wire must have came loose and shorted and made a big ass fire. It was pretty cool, but I'm kind of sad I missed my fan. It's a good box fan. Um, here's one of my projects this summer. I started last summer, though. It's a uh, Lakewood, or, uh, well, it's one of the brands marketed by Lakewood. It's an Airmaster box fan. As you can tell, I've been using a wire wheel on a drill to, uh, get it clean. It has the thermostat light, but it also has another one of the cursed motors of death. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, so I'm going to give this motor a thorough inspection before I go any further. Other than that, this is going to be a nice project once it's done. I mean, it's got the push button, which I really like. It's reversible. I got the thermostat. This is broken, so I won't hook it up again. Um, thanks for watching, and if I ever get a new motor for the Port Dominion, I'll make a video of it running again. If not, it's off to find a K223 or a P223 to replace it. Um, thanks for watching, and um, well, I'll try to report back as much as possible on this.